I'm Joe with Rogue Fabrication. We just got back from Johnson City, Tennessee. The crew at Motorhead Garage invited us out to the Borla headquarters to demo the M600 Bender and do a few test bends for them. Check it out. Motorhead Garage, presented by NHOU Protective Coatings, is brought to you by rockauto.com. All the parts your car will ever need. Borla, the world's most winning exhaust. Magic Creeper, the most versatile creeper ever. And by NH Oil Undercoating, the official oil-based rust prevention system. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage presented by NHOU Protective Coatings. Now the landscape of pipe bending has been the same for decades, almost 40 years. But Joe, you at Rogue Fabrications have changed all that. How is this machine an evolution from what we've seen in the industry? Well, all the machines that were out there are all very similar and they bend horizontal and they require being mounted to your floor because they use a big ratchet mechanism to bend the tubing. So 10 years ago, I was in my garage and I wanted a bender and I wasn't thrilled with the ones that were out there. So I wanted something that was portable, hydraulically operated and affordable. And then after that, I really decided bending vertically was the way to go because if you bend a 20 foot stick in half, you end up drawing a 20 foot diameter circle in your garage. I don't know about you, but my two car garage has never had that much room <laughs> in it. So we came out with the M600 and that was in 2012 and it checked all the boxes. Talk about affordability. How's it compared to other models out there? This is our, basically our entry level model. It's an M600. It's got an inch and a quarter diameter die in it right now. It's air over hydraulic, so it's powered by your air compressor. You can also pump it with hand power if you ever don't have compressed air. This machine is a weld together kit. Ship anywhere in the US with the die is under $1,000. Extremely affordable. We of course offer them welded and powder coated just like this for a little bit more money. And if you're like us here on Motorhead Garage, you can also get it wrapped with a very cool design as well. Yeah, exactly. And the fully featured one that's on the cart, and you can take that basic model and grow into this as time allows and money allows, or you can just start off with this. This whole setup is electric hydraulic, so it's super fast. It'll stop automatically if you set it to do so. It comes with the tube notching setup for cutting all the copes, and it's about 6,000, depends on which dies you get, but there's a whole range of options and features, and they all fit the base machine. So you can start small and grow big. And they want one right now, they dial you up, how quickly can they get one? As of right now, two to three days for a kit to ship out, close to a week for a welded and painted machine. We try to stock every single thing that's on our webpage for the very reason of people do want things promptly. So show me some of the different things you can do with this and, and some stuff you can't do with other machines out there. So the stuff that our machine can do that most it competes with can also do tubing, just round tubing, uh, square tubing, obviously the same thing but square, and pipe, which is your schedule thicknesses, like inch and a quarter schedule 40, used for fencing and things like that. And we can do the average range of sizes with the regular machine, just like any other machine can. The unique thing is you can attach a mandrel attachment to this machine, which puts a support inside the tube, and that allows you to bend ultra thin and exotic alloys. This is inch and a half titanium, and titanium isn't even tested by any of our competitors. It's a really challenging metal to bend, and our machine has no trouble with it whatsoever. And that's on the thin end. Thin is challenging relative to the diameter. What's easy from a geometry standpoint, but challenging from capacity, is thick stuff. So we've bent just testing in this machine right here, which is our M600 XHD, two inch solid steel bar. So this was bent at room temperature. We video recorded it just to prove it to people because people see it in person, they pick it up and they say, there's no way. It will bend almost anything that'll fit in it. Obviously, if you swapped that out for a solid chrome alloy that was heat treated, it, I'm sure, caused damage. And what about notching and joints and that sort of thing? Our verse notcher is attached to this machine. That one's powered by a hand drill. It can clamp in your bench vise or just mount to the cart like it is there. And it does all the notching for all of your joints. These are obviously small little pieces of what could be a roll cage and the various welded members within it. And you just drive the whole saw through. You match the whole saw to the size of the tubing. This one's not matched. And when you drive it through, it leaves a nice clean cope ready to be welded. It's honestly a real breeze to weld these joints when they fit this close. Let's talk about whole saws. This is a typical one that you get at your home center. It's only an inch and a half deep. So it's obviously a pain when you're doing joints like that. And you've come up with a solution. Yeah, this is actually a four inch deep one. This is matching depth. This is inch and three quarters. So this allows you to get all the way through even high angled notches uh, with just a single cut. Very cool. And I love your website. You've got a lot of great support out there. So we have spent a lot of time building up the web page as a resource center for tube bending and not just for our brand. It really works with any brand of tubing bender. The main thing we have is our video series. You can just click on videos on our web page. There's a whole bunch of videos on how to use the machine, how to accomplish S bends like this bend here. And also there's a technical index, which includes design tools, tube capacities, and also just explanations for complete beginners on what tube benders are used for, the various types, what type this is, what type it isn't. And then there's also a forum. So that's great for 
after hours help from your peers or just sharing your projects or getting feedback on anything, even welding. We've seen the materials you can bend and there's a wide variety, but also some of the bends this can do are pretty remarkable and unique in the industry. So when we originally designed this machine, we had a clamping system that is separate from the bending die. The benefit to this is cost and durability. It's less expensive to make them, which makes our dies affordable, but it's also way, way tougher. So we can bend these two inch solid steel bars and never have a die crack or break. The biggest benefit is the ease of prototyping. So you can take these clamp blocks out, attached to the tubing, and then you can test fit it on your project and then put it right back in the machine and resume the bend. The other half is being able to do S bends. So because you can flip the hole being on top or bottom of the material in the machine, you can just invert your clamp block, advance the bender, and put the pin in, and you can have the material being bent away from the die and then bend it toward the die, making the S bend. And that has always been the huge challenge with benders is, is how close can I put my bends? This one has generously spaced pivots so it can bend really thick materials, but because the clamping system is so versatile, it can still do the true zero space S bend, which is something that no other bender I know of can do. And this is a very shallow one, but there's no gap between bends A and B here. Joe, this is really a revolution in bending. And if you're looking for top quality fabrication tools made in the USA, check them out at roguefab.com. We shall return with more Motorhead Garage presented by NHLU Protective Coatings right after this.